Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Surely each of you has come across images or videos of airplanes whose wings are turned in the other direction. This is called a forward swept wing. The forward swept configuration has a number of characteristics which increase as the angle of sweep increases. And today, we will show you the 8 best forward swept wing aircraft ever built. Westland Lysander the Westland Lysander is a British Army cooperation and liaison aircraft produced by Westland Aircraft used immediately before and during the Second World War. After becoming obsolete in the Army cooperation role, the aircraft's exceptional short field performance enabled clandestine missions using small, improvised airstrips behind enemy lines to place or recover agents, particularly in occupied France with the help of the French resistance. The wings had a reverse taper towards the root, which gave the impression of a bent gull wheel from some angles. After the war, a number of surplus ex-Royal Canadian Air Force Lysanders were employed as aerial applicators with Westland Dusting Service, operating in Alberta and Western Canada. IL-14 The Aleutian IL-14 was a Soviet twin-engine commercial and military personnel and cargo transport aircraft that first flew in 1950 and entered service in 1954. The development into the IL-14 was a vast improvement over the IL-12, with a new wing and a broader tail fin. It was powered by two 1900-horsepower Shvetsov radial piston engines. The IL-14 had cruising speeds of about 200 miles per hour, 320 kilometers an hour, and could carry 27 to 32 passengers over routes of up to 300 miles, 480 kilometers. Large long-range transports fulfilled the immediate and crucial need for timely, practical travel arrangements that bound thousands of large and small population centers to each other and to national passenger networks. The IL-14 operated in the Soviet Union until the 1980s and early 90s, and other nations like Cuba and Vietnam. Visionaire VA-10 Vantage The Visionaire VA-10 Vantage is a prototype single-engined light business jet, or very light jet, Designed and developed by the American company, Visionaire Jets Corporation. The Vantage differed from contemporary executive jets in that it was powered by a single engine, a Pratt & Whitney Canada JT-15D turbofan buried in the rear fuselage, fed by twin air inlets above the fuselage. It was of all composite construction, and its wing was forward swept to reduce drag and to allow an unobstructed cabin by mounting the wing spar behind the cabin. VA-10 Vantage is capable of developing a cruising speed of 289 miles per hour, 465 kilometers an hour, and covering distances of up to 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, which is an acceptable indicator for a business class aircraft. The Vantage aircraft is currently located at the Vision Air Jets facility at the Hickory Airport, Hickory, North Carolina. Grumman X-29 The Grumman X-29 was an American experimental aircraft that tested a forward-swept wing, canard control surfaces, and other novel aircraft technologies. The X-29 was developed by Grumman, and the two built were flown by NASA and the United States Air Force. The aerodynamic instability of the X-29's airframe required the use of computerized fly-by-wire control. Composite materials were used to control the aeroelastic divergent twisting experienced by forward swept wings and to reduce weight. The aircraft first flew in 1984, and two X 29s were fly tested through 1991. The wings of the X 29, made partially of graphite epoxy, were swept forward at more than 33 degrees. The first X 29 is now on display in the Research and Development Gallery at the National Museum of the United States Air Force on Wright Patterson Air Force Base near Dayton, Ohio. The other craft is on display at the Armstrong Flight Research Center on Edwards Air Force Base.
Rutan Boomerang The Rutan Model 202 Boomerang is an aircraft designed and built by Burt Rutan. The design was intended to be a multi-engine aircraft that in the event of failure of a single engine would not become dangerously difficult to control due to asymmetric thrust. The Boomerang was designed around the specifications of the Beechcraft Baron 58, one of the best known and most numerous twin-engine civilian aircraft. The use of the asymmetrical design allows the Boomerang to fly faster and farther than the Baron using smaller engines, and seating the same number of occupants. The Boomerang is powered by two engines, with the right engine producing 10 horsepower more power than the left one. The wings are forward swept. Rudin's Boomerang was restored to flying condition in 2011 and made an appearance at Oshkosh that year as part of the tribute to Rutan. Su-47 Burkut The Su-47 fighter aircraft, previously called the S-37 Burkut or Golden Eagle, was developed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau of Moscow, Russia, and performed its first flight in September 1997. Su-47 is in a forward-swept wing configuration and uses a highly unstable trip lane with three main lifting surfaces, aerodynamic configuration. The Su-47 has extremely high agility at subsonic speeds, enabling the aircraft to alter its angle of attack and its flight path very quickly, and it also retains maneuverability in supersonic flight. The Su-47 fighter aircraft can climb at a rate of 233 meters a second. The cruise speed is 1118 miles per hour, 1800 kilometers an hour. The range and a service ceiling of the aircraft are 2050 miles, 3,300 kilometers, and 18,000 meters respectively. While serial production of the type never materialized, the sole aircraft produced served as a technology demonstrator prototype for a number of advanced technologies later used in the 4.5 generation fighter Su-35 and current fifth generation jet fighter Su-57. Airlac. The Airlac, Advanced High Performance Reconnaissance Light Aircraft, is a South African light reconnaissance and counterinsurgency aircraft developed by Airlac Holdings, a joint venture between the Paramount Group and Aerosud. It is designed to perform as an inexpensive, more versatile substitute for unmanned aerial vehicles and modern light attack aircraft. On July 26, 2014, the Airlac conducted its maiden flight. Both armed and unarmed models of the aircraft are to be sold, as well as a potential unmanned version. The Airlac features a twin-boom, single-pusher engine, high-mounted, forward-swept wing configuration, giving the aircraft an unconventional external appearance and providing for excellent external visibility. It has a top speed of 310 miles per hour, along with flight endurance of 7 hours. It is flown by a crew of two, who are seated in tandem configuration, both being provided with Martin Baker ejection seats and a HOTUS hands-on stick and throttle control functionality. SR-10 a prototype of the SR-10 single-engine light aerobatic jet trainer aircraft made its first test flight in December 2015. The trainer airplane is designed by a modern aviation technologies design bureau to meet the pilot training requirements of the Russian Air Force and private aircraft operators. The aircraft is intended to provide elementary and intermediate flight training for future military fighter aircraft pilots, athletes, and amateur pilots. The main wings, fitted to the middle section of the fuselage, are swept forward at an angle of 10 degrees. The flight control surfaces, such as ailerons and flaps, which are attached to the trailing edges of the wings, help provide safe flight. The takeoff and landing air speeds of the jet trainer are 118 miles per hour, 190 kilometers an hour, and 115 miles per hour, 185 kilometers an hour, respectively, and the rate of climb is 60 meters a second. The aircraft has a maximum airspeed of 559 miles per hour, 900 kilometers an hour. It can reach up to an altitude of 6 kilometers and fly up to a range of 932 miles, 1500 kilometers.
That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the aircraft you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.